budget. Bottom line is we're urging the president to get involved and fix this problem. Senator Murphy's a fine fellow, but it's never going to happen as long as Senator Schumer is in charge of these negotiations. We're going to have to get the president of the United States involved. He owes it to the American people to fix a broken border. And when I say broken, what do I mean? I mean really broken. In the last four days, we've had 40,000 illegal crossings. Two days ago was the highest on record. I will not go back to South Carolina and try to explain why I helped Ukraine, Taiwan, and Israel and did nothing to secure our own border. I will help all of our allies, but we've got to help ourselves first. We must secure the border. It's one of the top three things that the voters of this country are interested in. It's common sense. It's the law. The President of the United States, just like we have, have taken an oath to uphold the Constitution, and the President isn't doing that. The lights are blinking everywhere I turn. If that isn't a warning, I don't know what is. You got people pouring across that border every day, some of whom are on the terrorist watch list. This problem has to be solved. It's got to be solved now, and the Democrats need to get serious about working with us to make that happen. He could implement policies tomorrow that would not just substantially reduce, but almost entirely stop the flow of illegal migrants to include potential terrorists across our border. He has shown no willingness to do that because he has shown no willingness to show up to stand up to the radical left in his party. And if he is not willing to do that, then we will have to force him to do that. The Democrats in the Senate have not yet come to grips with that reality, that they are going to have to grant significant concessions on the border to pass the president's supplemental uh, aid package. It's not about resources. The policy choices of allowing everybody to apply for asylum to stay in the country uh, to wait for a hearing four years from now has led to a, 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 a surge at the border. Parole is being abused. It is about policy choices, not about resources.